Hi everyone, welcome back. After you prep your cup properly, you sand it off, you have all your marks and everything, then you wanna spray paint it. That's like step two of the prepping process just to make sure your epoxy adheres to your design. So all you wanna do, it just depends on what you're working on. Like this is a 30 ounce skinny tumbler that I'm working on. I'm gonna do a design where I need, I'm gonna do a wood grain. So the base that I need is just a plain white cause I'm gonna do a wood grain all over this 30 ounce for a client. So just spray paint white all over. Don't worry about um, any, the main thing you need to worry about actually is that it's not too thick. You see how I'm kind of just hitting it, spray, 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 like pss, pss, pss. Then, so this is a second one. This is a wine tumbler. This is another order. On this one, I'm gonna need a gold bottom and a white top. So as you can see how I'm spray painting, I'm just kind of misting it very lightly. I did the bottom, I hit it with the gold, and then the white, I came back and hit it with the white on top. Always use your darker color first, so that way it, it's gonna splatter a little bit. But on this design, I really didn't worry about it because I'm gonna have a little bit of my gold flakes kind of falling down like it's raining anyway coming from the bottom. So see what I did is just hit the bottom first, then go to your white, and that's it. You're just gonna make sure to do the lightest coat possible. This one was splattering a little more than I like, but lightest coat possible. Have fun with it. 